Yep. To me, this is one of the most important discoveries that neuroscience has ever made. Mm -hmm. Because it's that I don't want to do something, but do it anyway. That's right. That grows this area. Mm -hmm. um, most people don't know this, but there's a brain structure called the anterior mid cingulate cortex. But what's interesting about this brain area is there are now a lot of data mm -hmm. in humans, not some mouse study, showing that when people do something they don't want to do, mm -hmm. like add three hours of exercise per day or per week, or when people who are trying to diet and lose weight resist eating something. Right. When people do anything that they, and this is the important part, that they don't want to do. Right. It's not about adding more work, it's about adding more work that you don't want to do. Yes. This brain area gets bigger. Yep. In today's world, it's objectively harder to do hard things than ever before. Not because we're weaker, but because we're constantly surrounded by sources of instant gratification. From scrolling feeds to on-demand comfort, our environment trains our brains to expect dopamine, fast, easy, and without effort. But here's the science. Every time we choose the path of least resistance, we're reinforcing neural circuits that prioritize short-term ease over long-term growth. The anterior midcingulate cortex, a region critical for persistence and effortful behavior, actually weakens when we avoid challenge. So no, it's not just about willpower, it's about neuroplasticity. Your brain is adapting to the comfort zone. The anterior midcingulate cortex is smaller in obese people. Mm -hmm. It gets bigger when they diet. Mm -hmm. It's larger in athletes. Mm -hmm. It's especially large or grows larger in people that see themselves as challenged and overcome some challenge. Right. And in people that live a very long time, mm -hmm. this area re keeps its size. Mm -hmm. In many ways, scientists are starting to think of the anterior mid cingulate cortex not just as one of the seats of willpower, right. but perhaps actually the seat of the will to live. This isn't just about motivation, it's deeper than that. The anterior mid cingulate cortex might be the neurological root of the will to live itself. When we face discomfort and keep going, we're not just training for discipline, we're reinforcing our desire to survive, to grow, to matter. It's the brain's way of saying, I still want this life. All the data point to the fact that we can build this area up, yep. but that as quickly as we build it up, if we don't continue to invest in things that are hard for us, that we don't want to do, that's the part that feels so Goggin-esque Sure. to me that we don't want to do mm -hmm. like if you love the ice bath yeah i love the ice bath you go from one minute to ten minutes mm -hmm. guess what your anterior mid cingulate cortex did not grow None. but if you hate the cold water mm -hmm. if you're afraid of drowning mm -hmm. and you get into water and put your head under yep. then your anterior mid and survive then the anterior mid cingulate cortex gets bigger but if you don't do it the next day or if you do it the next day and you enjoy it because mm -hmm. hey hey i did it yesterday woohoo mm -hmm. Happy me, Merry Christmas, as right, you would say. Merry Christmas. Guess what? The anterior mid cingulate cortex shrinks again. If you've ever felt like you're losing your edge, like it's getting harder to push through, there's a reason. Your brain is wired to avoid discomfort. That's not weakness, it's biology. But the good news is, biology is trainable. Anyone can build this part of their brain, anyone. Not by doing more, but by doing what feels just a little bit harder than you want it to. And if you do that, even for a few seconds a day, you're already on the path back.